All right, Oklahoma, welcome back. 9-12 is your time getting kids career ready by the time they graduate high school. That is the goal of a new bill in the state house. And this morning we have the author of House Bill 3278, State Rep Rhonda Baker and the CEO of the state chamber, Chad Warmington. Thank you both for coming on. Thank you. you. And good morning. So let's dive in here, Representative okay. Baker. So what we're talking about is reworking K through 12 graduation requirements with this bill. So what will be added to help our youngest Oklahomans get career ready here? Yeah, we are excited that we are going to make some changes with this. You know, in the past, um, our graduation requirements have been kind of a cookie cutter approach to whether if you're going to college or the career route or even military, everybody had to take the same thing. And we recognize that that didn't work well for every student. And so we're trying to meet <clears throat> individual student needs. Um, so we're creating pathway units. And these pathway units will be based upon what they have shown to be um, helping them in their career. Uh, every student has an individual career plan that they uh, use and that helps them determine based upon their their uh, likes as far as a career choice, mm -hmm. their strengths, um, what are the courses that will best fit them. And so these pathway units are, are part of the plan. Additionally, we will be adding in uh, more math. Everything tells us that uh, we've got to have students that are more math ready. Mm -hmm. If you're going to college, we need more math. If you're going the career route, businesses tell us those students need to be more math ready. So we are adding in more math, but the, the coursework is definitely going to be more geared to be an individualized plan for each student. You're a former educator, right? Yes. So how did that help in, in crafting this bill? Oh, it helped a tremendous amount because I was getting feedback for years uh, from teachers and administrators on uh, the fact that, again, students they did not feel like in the schools that necessarily all students were being served well because, again, we were treating every student the same. Mm -hmm. And administrators and teachers know every student is different. And until we start trying to make those students um, <clears throat> prepared for whatever route they're going to go, um, you know, we're, we're kind of at a standstill. So. I did take all of those conversations into consideration and I was so fortunate to be able to have partners with the state chamber and a higher ed and, and common ed and the career tech to come to the table and to have these conversations. And Chad, I do want to come to you as the head of the state chamber. I think how critical is a bill like this for you? Yeah, I don't think you can undersell the importance of, of this reform. Uh, Oklahoma has a workforce sh shortage crisis across, across the nation we do as well. In, in, the, in the conversations we had with Representative Baker, we knew we weren't getting kids prepared for a career uh, that was fit for them. There was a kind of a one-size-fits-all approach, and the flexibility that this gives us, it gives, allows kids to get exposure to other career paths, too. If they want to go to college, great, we're going to get them ready for that. But if there's a skilled trade career or a military career, there's flexibility now within these graduation requirements to get them on that path. And we just think that's a game changer for Oklahoma in terms of kids coming out of K-12 career ready and career ready could mean college, military or, or, or straight into the workforce. And so I think it's just going to be a huge impact that we'll see here pretty quickly, hopefully, as we see kids uh, get more exposure, more flexibility and then better career outcomes. What's the feedback been in uh, the House with your colleagues? Hey, I have had tremendous feedback. Um, when we did the vote, I only had two nay votes, so it was 88 to two. Uh, I think that that is a strong showing and a lot of support from my House colleagues. Uh, where is that bill in terms of when can we see it become law here soon? Okay, so it is in the Senate. We're waiting for the Senate to pick it up and hear it in their committee and then hopefully it will just go right out of committee onto the Senate floor. So we're hopeful that um, they feel like it's an important piece of legislation that they need to tackle. What's your message to families watching right now who might have a student right now who you know doesn't know what they want to do you know after high school after college. A bill like this really could help them you know get centered get focused on what they want to do moving forward in the future. Yeah right? I think so that is the beauty of this is because students will be able to to explore some different careers, as Chad had said, some different ideas that they, they think they might be interested in. And if you are going um, from high school into just the career uh, field, 
You know, maybe they're getting enough um, experience behind them that then they can feel prepared to jump into the college scene. Not everybody's ready for college right out of high school, but if you are and you want to go to college, we hope that there will be less remediation that will be needed to prepare those students and they will be, uh, you know, more success successful in their journey there. Right. Representative Baker, for people at home that might want to read the bill for themselves, where should they go? How can they find that? Yeah, you can go online to um, the oklahomahouse.gov and you can pull that up house bill 3278 all right we're going to put a link on our i seen on section on koco.com for everybody who wants to check out that bill for themselves